After intense judging in the five categories, cement producing giant Ohorongo walked away with a gold award in NMA Corporate Manufacturer of the Year Award, followed by Etosha Fishing with silver and United Fishing Enterprises with bronze. In the NMA Small and Medium Enterprises category, tie was between Black Gold Compost and Peace Jewelry Collection Company. Trade and Industry Minister reminded the enthusiastic winners that industrial development in any economy is recognized as a shared responsibility between government and the private sector with manufacturing being at the forefront offering long-term opportunities. Kaleshled Vine says despite the sector facing challenges which constrains their ability to produce goods and compete in domestic and export markets, it generated exports to the value of 21 billion Namibia dollars in 2012, accounting for 53 percent of total exports that year. Of that 21 billion, 49 percent came from food products and beverages, while 13 percent from refined zinc and blister copper, and the remainder from other manufactured goods. This is for me a very significant proposition and calls for more concerted efforts to even further increase GDP contribution from manufacturing through its multiplier effects and linkages. In this regard, the Trade Ministry is currently developing the first ever set of sector growth strategies as part of its industrial policy implementation strategy to help accelerate manufacturing activities and push for industrial cooperation at bilateral and regional levels. The future of manufacturing in a fast-paced global economy also dominated discussions as consumers are constantly looking for newer and faster ways to get to goods and services. This is also influenced by the rise of new and different competitors as well as industrial internet, says futurist Neil Jacobson. And then things happen. Market forces come along. New regulations, new competitors, new materials, whatever it might be, and they force that going rate down. And what we do in business is what I call evolutionary innovation. We reduce costs, we cut headcount, we do all sorts of things to try and get that line back up to where it was. And we have to do that. That's our business of today. We have to run that. That's our core activity. But simultaneously in this radical world that I've just described to you, I want to suggest that if you were entrepreneur enough, you would look at those same market forces and see them not as depressors, but you would see them as opportunities.